and it all comes back to cell strength. Can you strengthen that cell wall as a starting point, as a starting point for any program? Yeah, you can. What's it made of? It's made of calcium and silica. Now, we want to see uh, on leaf tests luxury levels of calcium, and one of the reasons, there are many reasons for calcium, is the truck of the most important single mineral, but we want to see uh, luxury levels to strengthen that cell wall up, but also silica, uh, and no soil test has enough. They've all, unless it's farmed uh, a bit more uh, sustainably, uh, we don't have any of that silica, so we've got none of the cell strengthening capacity. So it's become a huge story. Uh, and in the most, well actually in York, the conference was held in your country, there were seven papers published, and that was the first time we'd ever known this. The whole new science of proactive plant management is understanding that a plant has an immune system not unlike ours, and that you can actually measure that immune system. Now we can go to the docs and measure the presence of antibodies and say, yeah, you've got a good or bad immune system. Uh, well, you can do the same thing in our country now. You can send leaves off to a lab, you can measure the content of phytoalexins, which are the plant's equivalent of antibodies, and the higher the phytoalexins, the lower your fungal and disease pressure, because the plant can actually fight its own fight. It produces all sorts of uh, compounds that dissuade both insects uh, and disease organisms. So the big finding is that we're looking for things that elicit an immune response. And the fascinating and fun thing about that is that everything known that, immune, that elicits an immune response also boosts yield, productivity and profitability. So to have a focus on boosting immunity, which means you're going to use less chemicals, also means you produce more and you make more money. Uh, and so the exciting thing in this content about silica is not just the second mineral that strengthens the cell wall, it's a really powerhouse immune elicitor. And that's why we want to have it available in our soils. That stimulates plant immunity and people say, oh, I'm using potassium silicate, I've got a 31% yield increase. How? Well, that's how, because anything that boosts immunity, and we didn't even know this until recently, until the South African conference on silica, the international uh, silica conference held here, that was when the first papers were released, uh, showing us conclusively that, that silica is an immune elicitor, which means it boosts yield. So it's a pretty neat thing to take, and we want to test it on our soils, and we want to see our progress as we make it more available. But how do you do it? Well, there's soluble silica called potassium silicate. You can also do it, as we've learned, by micronising a product called diatomaceous earth. Now, this is little diatoms, little creatures that were in ponds in their trillions, uh, and geological upheavals entombed them. They died, their outer skeleton remained, and it just looks like a handful of gypsum, but it's billions of these little outer skeletons, and they're made from silica, 85% silica. And when you look at them under a microscope, they look like a broken razor blade these diatoms that, can, that make up diatomaceous earth. And it's been found that they are of tremendous use for, say, controlling grain weevils in grain silos because they chop up the insect, it dehydrates and dies very quickly. Well, it also does the same thing, and if you've got cattle, you need to know this, and of course, uh, Dick and Kevin can share with you their experience, uh, it does the same thing internally, uh, and it slices up those uh, intestinal worms, and you can measure it, as many of our people do, they have microscopes and check worm counts and you can watch what happens. It's a tremendous way to take care of internal parasites. But the interesting thing that these boys have discovered that I didn't know was that six or seven weeks into, well, anyway, the product they're using, uh, they start to see this change in the outer part of the body and this reduction in ex external parasites. And it appears to be this fine silica being broken down, this diatomaceous earth, being, the silica being, being released from it and strengthening up that outer skin and given a result that I was never even knew was possible until I was here last time, we've since begun experimenting, and it does seem to work like that. It's quite a finding, so thanks for that, you guys. It was quite a neat uh, breakthrough.